Our bodies are made different. There needs to be research and it needs to be more focused on what women may have to deal with or go through. It's critical to include women in research because it's important for us to be very diverse in the populations that we study. And clinical trials or clinical research actually allows us to study interventions or therapies or strategies that actually can improve women's heart health. When I was 21 years old, I was diagnosed with postpartum cardiomyopathy. We uncovered the genetic cause of dilated cardiomyopathy or a heart condition where the muscle is weak and can lead to heart failure. And in a subsequent study, women who had dilated cardiomyopathy in pregnancy or peripartum cardiomyopathy were found to have the same mutation. And the shared connection in peripartum cardiomyopathy was only discovered because women participated in both of those studies. I started having symptoms. It was shortness of breath and things like that. And so when they finally figured out what was going on, it was pretty, pretty bad. They basically told me that it was related to me having my twins. It didn't start getting worse until about 2014. My heart function was getting worse, so that's when they decided to start to consider listing me for transplant. And that's when they approached me about the trials. I had a LVAD placement in 2015 and then the heart transplant in April of 2016. The reason I decided to participate in a clinical trial would have to be uh, my daughter. She was a big motivator for me. At some point, she's going to get married and she's going to bear children, and I wanted to know if what was going on with me could affect her and to try to take steps to try to prevent that as much as I could. Observational research is a type of research that allows us to understand the causes, the risk factors, and the outcomes that may affect the lives of women. Through my church, Pilgrim West Baptist Church, I'm a member of the health ministry. The health ministry supports the woman and the caregiver. We have programs here to help them eat healthy. We take them to the doctors. Then beyond that, we encourage women to participate in studies. And one person to turn out was Avis Johnson. What made me really want to participate is I knew it would get me moving again because it was a step type thing, monitoring our steps. After the study was over, I still kept checking my own heart rate. I checked my blood pressure on a regular basis, I just, you know, because of doing this study. Earlier this year, I started getting really tired, drained, said something's going on. I was getting tired in between walking just a few steps. I happened to go to the doctor and I mentioned about the tiredness and that my heart rate's been dropping and I had to have a pacemaker put in. Research has the potential to change lives, and it has the potential to change the life of any and every woman. And in fact, those women who volunteer for observational studies and clinical trials are producing results that actually get embedded in clinical guidelines that really drive clinical practice. It's really important that we support studies. It's taking charge of your health. I feel really good that I'm helping somebody to extend their life their healthy life.